Getting off grid and getting away from it all, literally anywhere you want, has never been easier. Hi, I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach with the 2023 Sanctuary. Two very different versions behind us. We have the same floor plans, but what are you looking for in a van? Over here on my right, we have the Mercedes-Benz 19P. Over on my left, the Ford Transit 19PT. Throwing up the basic specs for you right here, you can see they are very, very similar. You're gonna get a bigger GCWR in the Mercedes. The Ford has a bigger fuel tank. The question is, what are you looking for in a van? Do you want diesel? Do you want gas? What we're going to do is show you both of these amazing vans, all of the features, all of the functions, and then you're gonna to have to decide what one to take you on your next adventure. We're gonna start in the Ford Transit 19 PT. You're gonna have a few more inches of headroom inside of here, 79 inches of headroom. And this is the radiant silver decor. We have both decors to show you. The Mercedes has the other metallic gray we will show you. But as you step inside, I'll let Tom come on up here. You can see there is the headroom for me to move around. And what's nice about this setup is everything you need is in such a nice layout. It's real easy to have access to everything you want. Let's take this kitchen, for example. Nice solid surface countertops. You have the sink. And what I love about this is you have the portable single burner electric induction cooktop to do your cooking over in the kitchen. You have your microwave right up above, 12 volt fridge. So anything you need to prepare on the road, you can do it in here. And one of the things we did with these vans is try to optimize the space inside for all of the things you wanna take with you. So we have incorporated a number of drawers in cabinets Below the sink, you have three large drawers. Over here in the wet bath, what I like about the way this wet bath is set up is you can use it, one, as a bathroom, and we have it set up a little bit differently for you when we go through the Sprinter. So everything you need in a bathroom is gonna be right here. It is a wet bath. You have a cassette toilet that is going to be four and three quarters gallons for you. Shower curtain slides around. When you want to take a shower, sink flips up and out of the way. Medicine cabinets up above. This is going to be the exterior ladder we just tucked in here to keep it out of the way right now. We will have one set up for you when we walk around the outside. But what's great about this wet bath in here, especially when you're dry camping and you are off grid, is you are going to want to save all the space you can in your gray tank, which is why the sanctuary comes with the shower miser. What the shower miser is, it's actually kind of tucked away behind here. There's a little blue disc. And when you turn your hot water on, which is controlled with the Truma Eco Combi, which we will talk about here when we talk electronics, you get this set to the temperature that you want. And then when you turn on your hot water, you turn the valve, and then you wait for the, typically what we do, right, is we have the faucet and it's on, we're kind of holding it over our hand, waiting for the water to get warm. And as that's happening, it is filling up our gray tank. Gray tank capacity on this, by the way, on both floor plans, 20 gallons, okay? You wanna save all of that space. So with the shower miser, once the water is hot, that disc will turn to a bluish, whitish, gray color. Now you know the water is hot. You turn this valve, then you turn the shower, and now you have that instant hot water and you are not filling up your gray tank. When you're filling up your freshwater tank, we'll do that. That's 19 gallons on both vans, by the way. Four and three quarter cassette toilet. We'll talk about operating this, but this is your wet bath. You have a vent fan in here in case you are storing some off-road adventure clothes in here. That that's called foreshadowing. You'll see how we have this set up in the next, uh, in the, in, in the next uh, floor plan. But you can really get some nice ventilation in here. So this is going to be your wet bath. What I like about this floor plan here, Tom, let me shut these doors and get these out of the way for you. What I like about this floor plan is the versatility back here, okay? So as you are back here, and I'll just uh, let Tom step on back. All right, so. We're back here. We have three seat belts. This is a little 
This is your limousine for your passengers. So your, pa your driver and your co-captain are up front and then the passenger back here, you have three seat belts, table sets up. So working, really, really easy to do. Right back here on the road because your sanctuary is equipped with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. What that is going to do is allow you to create a Wi-Fi signal no matter where you happen to go. Either through WineGuard or through your favorite cell phone carrier, all you have to do is purchase a data plan, you insert the SIM card, and then you get online and you set stuff up and now you are rocking and rolling as a 4G hotspot when you are off grid. If you're a little closer to civilization, it's also a Wi-Fi extender, so you can tap into nearby Wi-Fi signals, and now you can get work done, post to the socials, whatever you need. So the table easily sets up. It's a pedestal table, locks into place. There's a great place to store it right behind the driver's seat. You have roller shades back here. This also makes into a bed, and we're going to show you how to do that when we get into the Mercedes. The other thing I want to talk about about this floor plan, again, we have a large closet set up in here. We have some shirts hanging in this one, but there are adjustable shelves. Maybe you want to use it as a pantry, however you want to set it up. Really, really convenient and a lot of storage back here. Back here. You have a vent fan. You have your AC, 11,000 BTU AC. We'll show you how to work that as we get through Rapid Camp Plus. And we'll talk about some of the other features, the other bells and whistles as we walk through the other floor plan. While I'm here, Tom, I'm gonna hop up front and we'll talk about the Ford Transit uh, right here. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I set this here to remind myself to show you, you do have privacy screens, so you can put those up in the windows. There are also uh, screens for the back door as well. I mean, outside of physical screens, lead and ventilation, but privacy shades as well, so you can really get the privacy in here you need. Let's talk a little bit about the driving experience on both of these. You're going to have, and again, very different setups. The Ford, that's a gas engine, and this is gonna give you 310 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. The Mercedes is a diesel engine, 188 horsepower, 325 pound-feet of torque. This is a 10-speed transmission. The Mercedes is a nine. From a safety standpoint, they are both loaded with every single feature you could want. You have touchscreen controls for your climate. You can go back home and you have everything you need here from your navigation, Sirius XM satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, nice touchscreen controls. You can connect your phone, go into your settings right here. And this is really loaded. I mean, Ford really goes through all the bells and whistles here. You can just dig deep into everything from your auto start stop if you want to turn that off some people love it personally i can't stand it uh it's just it's just a personal thing uh, but again you can turn that on or off right from there uh, different apps you have in here find mobile apps there's your carplay your android auto going back home all kinds of features in here. I suggest you read the manual and learn how this works, but all of your climate controls are touch, touch buttons right here on the screen. Control the mode that you're in. Now this is all wheel drive. You can manually shift right here if you put it into M and then you choose your mode, normal, eco. Are you gonna be in some slippery conditions? And this is where that really shines is in these slippery conditions. You have a tow haul mode on this as well. 3,500 pound hitch out back and mud and ruts when you are into some more gnarly situations. A lot of storage up here, cup holders, charging ports over here. Spinning just real quick through the dash. You have heated remote mirrors, auto headlights. This is where you turn the spotlight on, emergency start button so you can take and use your house batteries to jumpstart your chassis battery. And then as you spin through the dashboard here, your gauges, and it's gonna be very similar in both. You can go through the settings here and dial in your preferences for the safety settings, whether it's the lane departure warning, uh, whether it's the cruise control, whether it's the adaptive cruise control. So you can set this up to drive exactly how it is you want. It's up here, USB-C, 12 volt, a lot of storage up here. Cup holders, you can see the seats swivel. Electronic parking brake, so you don't have the handbrake, which you do in the Mercedes. So again, it's something to think about. What, uh, what do you want 
in your camper van. Storage up above here, places for whatever it is you need here, the privacy shades that are magnetic that pop on for you, we were talking about. So a lot of great features here in the Ford Transit. As we work our way back, we are going to take our next stop and then we'll do we'll give you an exterior tour of all the features as we work our way back into the Mercedes. So inside you can see this is going to be our other color. This is the metallic gray. So radiant silver and metallic gray. These are Technoform cabinets. These are made in Italy. Technoform dates back to 1965 and they specialize in marine and RV uh, features like these cabinets here. It's soft close hinges. They're made to take the heat and the humidity when you are out there in your sanctuary, no matter where you are. These are gonna not only look beautiful, but they're gonna stand up to the abuse that you give them. So we're standing in the kitchen again. Here we have the sink cover in place. We moved the cooktop outside and we'll talk about some of the options you have outside. And now we have a little more room up here. As we come in, we talked about the table and whatnot storing behind the driver's seat. You can see how everything stores nicely right behind here. Again, you the seats swivel just like uh, in the Ford. Microwave, 12 volt fridge, access to your plumbing, Super easy. Water filter, there's your water pump when you are ready to drain your fresh water tank. There's the outlet for that. So everything is really easy and accessible to get to. We talked about another use for the wet bath. We got it right here. All right, so you were doing some serious off-roading on that 3,500 pound hitch, you loaded up a dirt bike. So everything got kind of wet and muddy and you hosed everything off. Now you're hanging everything in here to dry because you have two racks you can hang clothes. And again, with this vent, you're gonna get some nice ventilation in here. So more storage space. Again, it's optimizing the space that you have. And the other thing that's really nice, especially when you're dragging in uh, muddy clothes, is this is a residential vinyl flooring. So it's real easy to clean. You just pull out your cleaner, or your Swift or whatever it is, and you go ahead and you sweep out the leaves, you sweep out the dirt, and away you go, nice and clean for your living. As we move back, here's the other feature I wanted to talk about. Yep, adjustable shelves in the closet. Here's a screen for the back door. We're gonna show you what that's like when that is up, or I'm sorry, for the side door, this goes on the side door, but adjustable shelves here. And so now we are into this area. Okay, so the last in the, in the Ford, we had the table set up, right? What's nice about this, when you are ready to do some sleeping, now this is going to be electronically assisted in the Mercedes. You just hit the switch. This is going to fold down into your sleeping area back here. Just like that, then you're gonna take these cushions, you're gonna move those over, and now you have a nice sleeping area back here. TV back here as well, if you wanna catch up on all of your favorite shows. Privacy shades right back here. Windows for ventilation, you have those on each side. There are screens in there, so if you wanna open those up during the day, during at night, get a little, get a little fresh air through here. You can do that real easy. Just pop those open, put the screen in place. Again, a log cabinets up here. We have storage right down below in here. So they're really nooks and crannies for just about everything you can think about taking on your adventure. One thing they do have in common, whether you have the Ford or the Mercedes, is the gadgetry, full of tech. So let's talk a little bit about tech right up front here. Rapid Cam Plus right here, starting with your home screen. You can check your tank levels, quick light access, check the climate, turn on your water pump. Next button down, another way to check your tank levels, your fresh water, your gray water. You do have tank heaters on this and your water pump. So when you are connected to city water, you do not need your water pump on. When you are out there dry camping, make sure your water pump is on and we'll show you how to get everything connected. Next button down is going to control your awning. Right up top, a real nice awning. We'll show you how to hook that up when we step outside. Then we get to our climate. This is gonna control your air conditioner. 
you can set your mode here, your fan speed, and your temperature. Again, this does have an 11,000 BTU AC and never set the temperature more than 10 to 15 degrees below your ambient temperature. Control all the lights inside and outside from here. You can use the slider, it's like a little dimmer. Next button down, check your coach battery. Check the voltage in your chassis battery. And how about a little bit of solar? You got that 200 watts of solar on your sanctuary. You can monitor that right from here if you want to plug in additional panels. There's a port on the other side. We'll show you where that is on our exterior tour. And then you can go ahead and control your fans from the kitchen to the bath and open the vent in the kitchen right here. Down below, hard buttons, control all the lights with just a touch of a button. And this is where you're gonna pair your phone. When you're connected to the cloud, you can take and you can control your light and your climate from wherever you happen to be. And then when you're outside, once you're hooked up, you can put out uh, your awning, control your lights, everything so you don't have to be here. You can use your phone. The other feature they have in common is the Truma Eco Combo. We touched on this. We talked about your hot water, but this is where you're going to set your furnace. This runs off of your propane. Make sure your propane is on. And now you can, can, can control your hot water you can control your climate, and you have a number of great settings from off, your furnace from 40 to 86 degrees, so you can dial in the perfect temp for you. Then you scroll over to your water. There are, there are three settings on your water here. You have eco, you have hot, and you have boost. Boost is what you're gonna wanna use for a shower. If you want a hot shower, it's 148 degrees. When you are in boost mode, you do turn off your furnace. So you're gonna have to keep that in mind. But what's really nice is you can set a timer on this. So you can time it to get that hot water, whether you're coming home at night after an adventure, or you're waking up in the morning, you can adjust it so the furnace shuts off and the hot water kicks on. Adjust whatever you want through timers right up here and then you can control the settings as well. The other feature both of these vans have is the reliable battery system. Let's dig a little into the reliable battery system. It's a 460 amp hour, 6,000 watt battery. We're talking 500 amps of continuous discharge. And what's nice is you can get a real time look with the Mastervolt EasyView 5. Now the display you're seeing here is gonna show you if you are inverting or if you're charging as well as the inverter output. You're gonna find the battery volts. You're gonna find the amps. Everything you want is right here. How about shore power volts? You got it. And FYI, when you're plugged into shore power, we're talking two to three hours to go to a fully charged battery and to keep your system running at peak performance. But to do that, tip, make sure you keep your batteries above 20%. Now the other way you can charge up, you have a 170 amp under hood generator. It's really a secondary alternator. When you're running down the road or you're sitting at camp, turn it on, it's gonna charge those batteries. You have 200 watts of solar on top and full sunlight, so we're talking roughly nine amps or so of charging. That's gonna help keep your batteries healthy as well. So this entire setup, and we'll show you when we walk around back there, has a 12 volt, 3000 watt inverter. It's a 160 amp charger, and what's great is it'll work on a 15 amp plug at home. So your reliable battery system is going to give you all the 120 volt power in your camper van. We're talking the AC, you're gonna want that fired up, right? The microwave, your outlets. So make sure the inverter is on when you are not plugged into shore power. So let's talk a little more about charging, right? The inverter does not have to be on to charge these batteries. That's super nice. So when you have the engine running or shore power is on, your battery is charging and check this out the battery disconnect switch you can actually keep that in the off position if you're plugged into shore power and all you want to do is put a charge into the batteries that's it and that's great especially when you want to get ready to store your motorhome which we never really want to think about right these are easy to store in winter if you can't stay plugged in make sure you charge that battery up to a hundred percent okay then go in the back we'll show you where it is the safety relay turn it off. So you're gonna be good up to 13 degrees below Fahrenheit. Every three months or so, wherever you're storing it, go out, check on it, charge it back up, and you should be good to go. Now let's talk a little bit about lifespan. On these batteries with 3,500 cycles, I want you to do some math here, all right? So if you can go from 100 down to zero, you charge it back up. Run it back down to zero, charge it back up to 100%, you can do this twice a day, every day, for eight years. 
So a reliable battery system is going to last you a long, long time. So now that we've talked about the interior, let's talk about some of the exterior features. We're going to head back up to the transit because we have flip out tables and awnings and screen doors. Oh, so much fun when you're out adventuring. One of the biggest differences that is really easy to spot is the stance and the ride height. On the Transit, now they both have 16 inch wheels, you have a street tire on this, whereas on the Mercedes you have a big, beefy KO2 and that sits on a factory lift from Mercedes. So as we work down, these mirrors will fold in when you want to get them out of the way. Seat swivel on your Transit. Your OCCC is 1,772 pounds of goodness. Right here in the doorway, the EasyView 5 we just talked about, your 12 volt battery disconnect switch when you are out camping, take and turn that on. How about a little, a little popcorn, how about a little snack? That's one of the great things is the versatility in this. So we have this set up, table is down, the popcorn maker is plugged in, we are cooking in the kitchen. JBL flip speaker, so you can take this with you, throw it in a backpack, get music wherever you want to go. As we work our way down the side, right down below, an exterior propane connection, so you can hook up a gas grill, you can hook up a griddle, you can hook up a fire pit, whatever you want to take with you, whatever you can fit with you, and maybe it's on that 3,500 pound hitch, whatever outdoor accessory you want, both are going to give you these nice, heavy duty, metal running boards for easy entry and easy exit. And you'll need that as you step up into the Mercedes. In the back here, a couple of 110 plugs. These are GFCI, so make sure that you do have your reliable battery system on or you are plugged into shore power. Awning right up above. Both units have an awning. You can put that out, pull the legs out. You set it up on the ground. Lights underneath, beautiful. Beautiful shade for you on a bright sunny day. On any day where it's very, very windy or you think there may be some weather rolling in, make sure that you bring that awning in before you leave and we recommend that you do do that before you head out on excursions. You have a bike rack on the back of your Ford Transit. You have a bike rack on the back of the Mercedes. So again, very, very similar feature set. As we work down to the Mercedes, here are those big beefy KO2 tires. These things are fantastic. If you are going to go out on, maybe you want to go drive on the beach, these things are going to get you wherever you need to go. I have personal experience with these tires in a 4x4 Sprinter van and they have gotten us through some very, very tough situations. You have the nice big metal running boards again. You're going to need to step up because this again does have a factory lift from Mercedes. On your Mercedes, your occupant and cargo carrying capacity, very similar. It's 1,644 pounds. And again, both vans have a lot of the same features on the outside. Now this one we have set up like this. We have moved the, this is what I love about having the portable electric induction cooktop. We moved it outside, right? So now you, you went fishing and you're frying up some fish and you're not gonna get fish stank in, in your camper van here. You're gonna do that right out here. Plugs right into a GFCI out here. There are USB-A charging ports here. And again, you have the JBL flip speaker. As we move on down into the back here, here's our bike rack, frame locked. You fold this down and you lock your bike in. If you wanna take it off completely, you can. Back here, we talked about the relay switch. I wanted to show you that. That is here. So uh, all the information we gave you about the lithium, when you want to turn the system off, this is your relay. This is going to be for our ladder we have set up when we talk about all the great exterior features and show you how to set up. There's a screen door right here that folds down when you want ventilation. You want to take in all of the goodness Mother Nature has to offer. Put that up. There's also a screen you can take and on and off the side door. Looks just like this, real easy to put up. And again, it allows you a lot of great ventilation. Both units have a 3,500 pound hitch. Here's your connector on here. When you are towing, it is your gross combined weight rating minus your gross vehicle weight. What you have left, that's how much you can tow. On the other end, because these both have the same floor plan, 
you have the same setup. So we are going to flip these around and show you how easy it is to hook up your sanctuary camper van. One more feature I wanna show you, this hose plugs right into here. What's really nice about this is now you have an exterior shower if you wanna hose off before you come in or the bikes, the bikes with dogs, whatever it is, you can go ahead and rinse, hose those off or bathe whatever you need right outside. There's our ladder climbing right up to the roof. We talked about inserting the SIM card in your wine guard. Here's the wine guard, that's where you would do that. And you can get the cover off the light up here because we have that nice light bar up top and any other maintenance that you need to do. And this store is out of the way. Starting our exterior tour, it's nice that we have a sewer hose right here. So draining your gray tank is going to be a piece of cake. And then you just wind that up, put that right back in here. Propane is down here, turn that on. Again, you need that for your Truma Eco Combi. And that is going to give you all the hot water that you need. There's the exhaust for the Truma. This is going to be where you drain your tank for your shower or your sink. The hose store is back in there. You hook it here, you pull the handle, just that easy. Cassette toilet is right in here. This does lock. Just pull that out, walk this over to the dump station, the toilet, wherever you are going to dump that, and go ahead and do what you need to do, and then lock it back up. Nice little puddle light out here, so if you're getting in late at night, you need a little illumination, you can turn that on with Rapid Camp Plus. Filling up your water either here, all right, so this is going to be where you fill your fresh water tank, and if you're hooked to city fixtures, you're going to do that here, and then you run this over to the campsite, turn on the water, and you're good to go. We talked about adding to the 200 watts of solar. This is where you can plug in panels right here. Run a little cable TV, simple coax. You run it from here over to the campsite. Now you can program your TV for cable and 30 amp shore power. So whether you want to charge that reliable battery system or you're just going to get all the juice fired up you just plug this in right here and then you run the other end over to the campsite make sure the breakers are off and then you plug in and then you turn the breakers on and you are ready to go both the transit and the mercedes have your fuel fill right here now remember your mercedes is diesel your ford runs on gas and inside boy you have heated Memory seats on this, real easy to control when you have them spun around. I always like to use number three here to set the position for the, the seats. The mirror controls are right up here, heated remote mirrors, door locks, auto headlights. Again, because this is a Mercedes, you're going to get all of the safety features that you need. It's a voice activated infotainment center, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, has built-in navigation, your climate controls, cup holders, one of my favorite features on this Mercedes, at least from a driving standpoint, and yes, I do love the way it drives, especially off-road. There's a wireless charger up here, so you just put your phone in here and you can connect it, and now your phone is charging. You're not gonna be tempted to look at it when you're driving because you wanna stay safe. Uh, yes, you still have to pay attention even though this Mercedes is loaded up with all the safety features. Just shut that lid and because you have it hooked up to your infotainment center, now it is hands-free driving and you can do everything you need to do with the steering wheel controls. You still have hard buttons for the radio, a lot of great storage cubbies up here, same up above. Just great driving machines no matter how you slice it. So it all depends on what you're looking for in a camper van. Do you want something with a taller stance that's going to take you into a little more precarious situation such as mud and on beaches? And then you have the Transit. Looks like a little luxury limousine, right? I love driving them both and it depends on how you want to use them. Go drive them both. Learn more about them because they are great driving camper vans designed for all-wheel drive four-wheel drive. What do you want to use it for? Where are you going to go? How does it fit into your lifestyle? Dig deep into these camper vans on ThorMotorCoach.com. I'm glad you joined us today. I'm Steve DeVal and keep it tuned into all of your favorite Thor Motor Coach social media sites because we'll be back before you know it with another tour.